too cold, but I want to drink an iced mocha. Good morning. I should have said that earlier. I always forget. Oh, I touched it. Shoot. It's too late, huh? Oh my god, it's exploding. I can't feel my hands. I am here for it. Oh no. I don't like it. No, 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 no. Okay. Good morning. It's 7.24, Monday, March 2. I have my exam today. I'm not ready, but okay, I'll be ready. Oh. 
snowing. It's not supposed to snow today. What's going on? <sighs> I'm really sleepy. I messed up my sleeping schedule. I made it, but I feel like I took a shower. I have news. Exam 2? There's sort of a big difference between my lecture and my lab score. And it's because I have trouble under pressure. I mess up so bad. I did finish my other piece yesterday. I don't really know what it entails, but I'm gonna do what the other me wants and just take it slow, create art, watch some dramas, and then probably maybe try to play catch up in school. Okay, P.O. box. <gasps> wow! 
근데 내가 너무 심하게 부정적이었네? 어우, 진짜로 졌다, 내가. 어때? 야, 너는 왜 애한테 승질이야, 진짜. 응. 어? 내가 미쳤어. So small. Cool. I fell into a deep hole, like a deep, deep K drama hole. I bought some vitamin C. Oh my god, the tablet size is huge. If I can open it. What food is highest in vitamin C? Oh, strawberries, mangoes, oranges. Cheers. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is necessary for the growth, development, and repair of all body tissues. It's involved in many body functions, including formation of collagen, absorption of iron, proper functioning of the immune system, wound healing, and maintenance of cartilage, bones, and teeth. Also, it is good for your skin, if you didn't already know. People who get little or no vitamin C for many weeks can get scurvy. Scurvy causes fatigue, inflammation of the gums, joint pain, Poor wound healing corkscrew hairs. I feel like I get joint pain on the regular. Author illustrator living in Los Angeles had a crazy Whereas appears along with lots of other things that will help you align objects. Be bold and push yourself to overcome that challenge. Keep illustrative and hand get creative and make something. Now I want to show you guys how you can get the the first thing you want to do is sign up on Giphy.com. Giphy. Giphy join apply brand. Is this annoying? I just really, I love whipped cream. Every time I screen record on my Mac, it freezes. How to use screen recorder on the map. I'll try later. Also, I have news. Oh god, I almost dropped it. I got a mini portable hard drive because I have not been backing up my videos. What you see is honestly what you get because I have nothing backed up. <laughs> no one hack me please because these videos are the only ones I got. Um, so I'm gonna start backing it up. I'm gonna make some gifts for Instagram because I have not been doing anything the past few days. Actually, I studied a little, so let's not say I did nothing. Before I begin, thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Skillshare is already, it is a online platform with thousands of classes for you to choose from, from fine art, cooking, graphic design, illustration. There's just, there's so much to choose from and learn from. If you're interested, I'll have a link down below. The first 1,000 people who click on it will get a free trial to their premium membership. The class that I decided to check out for this week is Creating Gifts for Instagram Stories by Ilana Griffo. I've been meaning to make some gifts for like the past few months and for some reason, I could not get myself to search how to do it. I knew it was like on the easier side, but I'm convinced it's really easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some gifts and hopefully it'll be ready in a few days, which is, it should be long ready since this video. Yeah, it should be ready by the time you watch this video and you've probably maybe seen it if you follow me on Insta. Let's begin making the gifts, gifs, gifs. Here's the most popular things. It's thank you, new post, I could do like a happy face, a sad face, something like that. Okay, 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 I, I have an idea. Oh, sugar, I messed up. 
could do, okay, yeah, this works, this works, okay, okay. Heart, XOXO, love, smile, happy. What else can I do? Next. Basically just made my old stickers into GIFs, GIFs, but I mean, I hope they turn out okay. I'm pretty sure the proportions might be really off, but we'll see. Yep. Okay. I could probably do more, huh? I'm gonna stick with those for now. Next, I have to eat. If you're looking to make GIFs, I would recommend it was easy. I'm having a late breakfast, my banana bread. I'm gonna talk about my K-drama of the week. If you don't like K-dramas, maybe skip past a minute. Hush, sugar. I watched Flower of Evil this week and there was a lot of evil. I definitely wasn't ready to watch a like suspenseful drama, but I had nothing left so I went for it and I was like, wow. Either I'm really bad at predicting the future or they just did a phenomenal job. It was just so hard to predict what was coming up next and there were so many twists. I recommend. We're gonna work today. My closest friend circle isn't big on like the K-pop, K-drama world. I'm not super big on the K-pop world either, but I am big on the K-drama world or out. I'll have my moments. I think quarantine got a lot of people into K-dramas, which is nice. I get really excited talking about it. This week, I definitely, I went down like a deep, deep hole. I watched True Beauty, 18 again, Flower of Evil. Did I watch anything else? I've been waking up pretty early, which is, okay, early as in my eyes will open around like 8.30 and I will look at my phone maybe until nine. I usually don't use my iPad for notes, but I will today.
I'll just keep her. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. Somehow the whole day has passed by. What did I do? Finished my next piece that you cannot see. Oh, here's a sneak peek. My Giphy and Giphy, my Giphy account ended up getting approved so fast. But apparently they have to go through the stickers before it can pop up just to make sure that it's safe for work. I didn't really do that much, but I thought I did. What did I take so long doing? Don't forget to fill out your FAFSA because I need to do that. That's on my to-do list. It's been on my to-do list for the past month, but yeah, I need to do that. 저 봉상필 변호사입니다. 
ったら my mic was off this whole time and I was talking oh my god I talked for like 10 minutes without my mic <gasps> I knew that would happen I wanted to say wait I have to show you I made it to trending again this morning with this guy this one and this one there's there's three of them I wish I could say I, f I feel really good about them, but I don't feel that good about them. The colors just don't seem the way I want and the quality. But anyways, my story. Okay, let's try this again. It's March 13, Saturday. I'm gonna try to study today, even though I've been saying that every day, but I'm really, I'm gonna try today. But first, let me show you guys some of my favorite pieces that I got in the mail today. I mean, not today, but the past month. First one are these earrings by Kara Toast Earrings. They're super cute. And we have these cherry earrings by Annabelle. On to the topic that I was planning on telling but I guess it just didn't work out I wanted to talk about safety because I feel like that is a really big problem nowadays and it has been for a really really long time even though it shouldn't be I am a very paranoid person one being my dad is very overprotective there's goods and bads to that more good but I just wish it wasn't like super ingrained in me. My mom, on the other hand, is not really protective at all. I kind of feel like I'm the mom to her because she'll be on her phone walking in like the middle of the road or staring at the receipt when we walk outside the grocery store, not looking at any cars or people. So I'll be like pulling her aside, and asking her to like, please just stop and look at the road. Anyways. We live in times where we just have to be really careful. I am someone who, if I'm outside, I am on full or if I hear anything, if I know someone is walking behind me, I sort of like move my head to make sure that they kind of know that I am aware. Where did I learn that from? I don't know, but you just have to make people aware that you're aware. So I'll be like, da -na 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 -na. but I honestly, I don't know who or what is there. So sometimes it could be like kids and I'll just be over paranoid or just anyone. I'm just high alert all the time. Even in the car, once I go in, lock the doors. Once I'm in the car, I don't stay in the car for a extended amount of time because you never know. Even with locked doors, you just, you never know. So I will be on high alert if anyone passes by while I'm in the car also. Everything is just, you never know. I think it's sad how we have to live in times where I have to be paranoid of the Uber ride, Uber. <laughs> this doesn't happen very often, maybe like once or twice a year, but if I know I'm about to take an Uber ride alone, I will be thinking about that for weeks. It's like not on the top of my mind every day. It'll just be floating in my mind until that day arrives. And it sucks and it's so sad how we live in times where we just have to think about that. And once I know who is picking me up, I'll screenshot that and I'll send it to someone that I know who will be by their phone often because you never know. 
and yeah so also when I'm in the ride I try not to look at my phone too much I try to look at my surroundings and sometimes I'll even check where this car ride is going to make sure I'm going to the right place so far I have had nothing but good drivers but it's never too safe wait it's never too safe to be sorry it's never never sorry to be too safe it's never too much to be safe it's never okay no i'm not gonna try yeah we live in times where we just have to be careful it probably doesn't help that i watch true crime podcasts sometimes by steph sue i was gonna mention i don't go out at night but at the same time, nowadays, I just don't go out in general. The biggest factor in the nighttime playing a role is because right now I live in an area where the crime rate is higher than it was back at home and I was already paranoid going out back at home. So it's even, it's like accelerated over here. So that's sad. Yeah. But in general, I don't really go out. Yeah. Oh. I, I apologize. I can't speak. That is the end of the safety story. Anyone out there listening, be safe. I will be safe because I'm very high alert all the time. And we will all be safe together. Bye.